We have five years to save ourselves from climate change, a Harvard scientist says. Five years. Damn it. All right. The level of carbon now in the atmosphere hasn't been seen in 12 million years, a Harvard scientist in Chicago said. Uh, this pollution is rapidly pushing the climate back. We have excreted inf information about what that state is because we have a paleo record going back millions of years when the Earth had no ice at either poles. At either pole, there was almost no temperature difference between the equator and the pole, said James Anderson, a Harvard University professor. The ocean was running almost 10 degrees Celsius warmer all the way to the bottom than it is today. And the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere would have meant that the storm systems would be violent in the extreme because water vapor, which is an exponential uh, function of water temperature, is the gasoline that fuels frequency and intensity of storm systems. People have the misapprehension that we cannot recover from this state by reducing, that we can recover from this state, excuse me, just by reducing carbon emissions. Recovery is all but impossible, he argued, without a World War II style transformation of industry, an acceleration of the effort to halt carbon pollution and remove it from the atmosphere, and a new effort to reflect sunlight away from the Earth's poles. This has to be done, Anderson added, within the next five years. The change that there will be any permanent ice left in the Arctic after 2022 is essentially zero. Wow. Okay, so it looks like a new effort to reflect sunlight away from the Earth's poles is in this article. So it looks like this guy is, is calling for some amount of geoengineering. Now, deep adaptation, the last big climate change study we covered... Um, that person is saying the opposite. They're saying that geoengineering would have little to no impact. This scientist is saying that it will and it needs to happen because we have five years. Deep Adaptation was saying we have about 12 years to do something and we need to prepare to adapt either way because we're not going to stop climate change. We just kind of want to minimize the impact, slow it down. But either way, we're going to need to adapt. Uh, both of these outlooks are pretty bleak to an extent. Um, I feel like this outlook is bleaker than the last one we looked at. Which one is right and which one is wrong? We don't know. We don't know yet. And I certainly don't know. I'm not a scientist. I don't pretend to be a scientist. I am far from it. I run a viewer-curated streaming news show where we just geek out about this stuff and try to prepare the best we can and read different perspectives that are worth looking into. All these perspectives came from who? Scientists. Not Rick Santorum, scientists. These are scientists. This shit's been peer-reviewed. They've studied this stuff. They've studied it again. They don't. Uh, they aren't being paid off by the oil and gas industry. These are actual climate scientists talking about what the fucking climate. So, so this guy's saying we need to basically reinvent the way we do everything, and we need some geoengineering. Or in five years, we're fucked. Um, hopefully there's a, yeah, I hope he's not the one that's right. Cause if we, if, if, if all we have is five years, we're done. Like, like that's just, if it's five years, we're done there. There's no way. Um, I mean, I'd, it's not impossible, but when you look at what's happening, I, I mean, I don't 12 years, there's some hope five years. Oh, that is, we are really, really behind. We are really behind. And uh, we really need the rest of the world to pick it up too. Because here in the United States, I don't think you can count on a lot from us in five years. Uh, especially since, depending on what happens uh, between now and 2020, there's a good chance we're going to be stuck with Trump. So, the idea of five years, uh, ooh, that's, uh, that's bleak. That's bleak. But that's another perspective from a Harvard scientist. And, uh, yeah, as Tom Petty said, the waiting is the hardest part. But now is not the time to wait. Now it's the time to act. Extinction Rebellion, Sunrise Movement. They're going around. They're doing their thing. Follow those groups. Sunrise Movement, Extinction Rebellion. They're doing something about climate change. Sunrise is on a nationwide tour. I got to see them in Los Angeles this past Friday night. They are pursuing a Green New Deal, a real Green New Deal. 
and they are mobilizing people one community at a time, which is what has to be done to get something like this. That is what has to be done because it's going to happen from the bottom up. So Sunrise is doing a really good thing. Uh, I recommend looking into that movement. All right. Cool. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your